Welcome to the channel with your Today, friends. we are going to be cooking some delicious squash with onions, southern style. One of the ingredients in my southern style squash is bacon. Bacon grease. If you don't have any bacon and you have bacon grease, you can just use the bacon grease. If you don't have any bacon grease, like I don't, you can use just some bacon. Cook the bacon, use the bacon grease, and the bacon. This is a simple recipe. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Good old southern style squash. This is how I grew up eating it, and it's delicious. This is a half of a 12-ounce pack of bacon. After my bacon gets done, I'm taking it out of the grease. I'm leaving the grease in and I'm putting in my onions. This is a yellow onion. My husband cut it up for me. You see how my husband cut up these onions? It don't matter. You can dice them up, slice them up, however you want to cook them. This is about a fourth of a yellow onion. So I'm going to go ahead and saute my onion a little bit first in the bacon grease. Once I get it to my desired tenderness and color, saute it for about five minutes on medium low then i'm going to go ahead and add in my squash these are some squash my husband grew in his garden yes this year <laughs> he grew these squash he washed them and he sliced them my husband sliced the squash too y'all look at him i'm just putting the squash in and i'm gonna saute them for a little while i just want them to get some of that good old oniony flavored bacon grease in them let me know in the comments if you planted you a vegetable garden this year. Also, if you did, did you plant some squash, some yellow squash? My husband planted zucchini and yellow squash, and we are yielding a lot. It's, it is so plentiful, and we love sharing. He's sharing them because I can't cook all that squash and zucchini. But I'm glad that we are able to share them with people. He did a great job. He has a lot of other vegetables in the garden, too. I might do a short showing y'all... Um, a picture of his garden so anyway after the squash sauteed for a little bit i went ahead and added some water that's about a fourth of a cup of water and i'm adding in some salt and pepper now i'm adding some of my bacon back in somebody ate some of the bacon so we don't have all of it to add back in but if you have all of it add all of it back in you can add none of it in as little or as much bacon back in as you want to but i'm adding some of it back in to cook with the squash and i'm going to put a lid on the squash and then i'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes until it's to my desired tenderness you can simmer it for less than that or more than that if you want to but this is how mine turned out look at that yummy deliciousness doesn't this squash look good say yeah Yes, it does. This squash looks so good. It was delicious. Delicious. Make this recipe and then come back and let me know how you like it. But before you leave, if you want to see more great, delicious recipes, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember to always Put God first in everything. Join me again next time on Bless Real Cook. Turn on your TV screen. Turn on your phone. Turn on your laptop. We watching Bless Roll. Bless Roll.